hear ye, hear ye, folks. <laughs> We're going to do a quick blog read. Uh, WoW's 20th anniversary patch, a.k.a. 11.0.5, is going to go live October 20. Second, 23rd over um, on, on EU land. Hey, it's all, it's another video. Like I said, we're just going to do a blog read and just kind of a quick review of what's going to be coming in just a few short weeks with the 20th anniversary and a bunch of other, and a bunch of other stuff. So to summarize, um, the big things are there's going to be a new Black Rock Depths Raid dungeon. It's going to host anywhere between 10 and 15 people. You're going to take down, I believe, eight bosses. There are some bonus bosses there as well. Uh, a lot of what's going to happen in this patch is it doesn't sound like there's going to be a lot of actual story stuff, but who knows? There might be some hidden things that we just don't know about yet. Uh, but a lot of what we're going to be doing is earning currency, doing different activities to earn these celebration tokens that we can use to buy a whole bunch of different transmog stuff like tier two sets for each of the classes. And there's a bunch of other stuff, including mounts, weapons, armor, so on and so forth. Um, a couple more bullet points here. Uh, there are going to be new time walking dungeons that are from the classic era. Uh, there are going to be a bunch of activities over down in Tanaris, like the like the entire zone is or not the entire zone, like a good chunk of the zone is going to be kind of like revamped uh, for uh, for the celebration stuff, including world bosses, including, again, all sorts of weird and fun activities. Uh, there's going to be Korok's Revenge. That's going to be coming back. And all these things, they're going to happen over the next two months or so. It's going to last for what's supposedly going to be uh, the entire patch cycle until next year when we're probably going to get the 1107 or God knows what sort of patch is going to come after that. The other big thing is Drak there, they're going to be able to roll as different classes as well, including mages, warriors, priests. I forgot all the other ones. Do we have a list here? No, we don't have a list. Uh, the mechanics of Drak there, they're going to act a little bit differently. One, we can actually play as the visage form the entire way through with with very few exceptions that'll shoot them into dragon form because for the most part you're not really using dragon related abilities of course the drawback is that you're not going to have the same sort of perks that that drag through evokers have with like the tail swipe and the gliding anime uh, the gliding speed that they would have it's going to be nerfed like just a little bit but it should still for the most part be fine and at least from the feel of it um with a release date of October 22nd, it certainly seems like WoW is sticking to like their eight week cadence. Hey, eight weeks after this, we're going to get a patch and then another patch and another patch until the game shuts down, which has worked out pretty well so far. It's been pretty fast, although <laughs> it certainly feels like, and maybe it's because I commentate, it certainly feels as if time is going really slow at the same time because there are folks that are, uh, you know, giving critical feedback over the likes of uh, Mythic Plus uh, and, dwell and, and, and Delves to a certain extent. And it's just, I don't know, for me at least, it's making time feel like it's going uh, way too slow and people are just eager to move on to something new. The cool thing about this event though going back to it is that it's open for pretty much everyone you don't even need to it doesn't even seem like you need to have uh, a paid account you can experience a lot of what there is to offer with just a trial account to like at least check things out see what wow is all about 20 years later uh, it's a big nostalgia trip that's good that we're going to get from here and whether you want to stick around for longer or not hey that's totally up to you as for veterans, there's just a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of old stuff that we'll be able to look at, revisiting characters, lots of cool things. And that's all I really wanted to point out. Just a big hear ye, hear ye. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for it and all the changes. Lots of class changes are coming too. There's like more details to be found uh, as we get closer to the patch. And, you know, I'll kind of give people a an easy walkthrough of like, hey, here's what's going on, how to do it. It should be, it's it's pretty easy. It's very, very chill. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Is this too soon? Or does this patch need to cook a little bit more? Or is it ready to go? Like, oh my god, give it to me now. Let me know in a comment below. And that's it. Let's get back to it. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.